Do you have what it takes to change the world around you? To stand up for truth or love or to defeat injustice? Actually, yes, you do have what it takes, even if you don't have very much at all. The book of Judges is about God teaching his people to fight in faith for their promise. And in it, we get the very brief story of this guy called Shamgar. It simply says that he picked up an ox goad, which is a stick for poking cattle, and he defeated 600 Philistine invaders with it, saving Israel in the process. And that's all it says. And it's kind of all we need to know. He destroyed 600 enemy soldiers using a stick. Why a stick? Obviously, because that's all he had. But enemies are enemies, and if God intends for us to fight them, then we fight, and God can worry about the details. In overwhelming times, we live by principle, not by resources or capabilities. In God's world, right makes might. The Bible is actually full of stories of people doing the right thing with insufficient resources, and then finding that resources are never the issue when God's involved. One guy with a stick defeating an entire troop. One kid with a slingshot against a giant. Five loaves and two fish for feeding a multitude of thousands. If there's injustice, we attack it with what we have. If there's a giant problem, we attack it with what we have. If there's a hungry multitude, we feed them with what we have. Our job is to do what's needed. God's job is to make it possible. Are you ever kept from doing the right thing because you think you don't have enough? You don't have enough money or enough know-how or enough allies to pull it off. Well, instead of asking what you lack, it's probably better to take note of what you have and then to use it with great faith. How would that change your life?